today is the day before me coming to London. I'm a bit anxious, so I'm more excited. I heard there was a trick where you can um, turn your anxiety into excitement because they are the same type of symptoms. So I'm trying to just be like picturing the morning airport when I land. So I'm just like excited. I'm gonna be there for a week, but just know it's gonna be some fun days. I know we're staying for three days at one place and four days at another place. Um, I've been to London twice, but it's just been years. So I will be doing some sightseeing because it's been a long time and I love sightseeing. So it is the day of traveling. It is sunny outside. My dad gave me a new hat from Albany. It's a resort in the Bahamas. It's a Bahamian flag here. Nike should be in the back. And it says something here on the side. I'm actually not that nervous. I'm more excited to see Lamar. So that's a plus. But we are flying at around 9.40 p.m. And right now, I think it's about 9.30 a.m. So I am woken up because my dad and my little sister are packing. So that made a lot of noise. So I'm woken up because my dad and my little sister are packing. Always last minute and it's the day of. But I, I showed y'all some of the stuff they were packing yesterday. Let me show y'all a little glimpse of it right now. It's kind of boy, it is crazy. Now I am flight ready. So these are my bags. I've got a, what's it called? A checked luggage, a carry-on, and then my personal item. Otherwise, how am I feeling? Let's get an anxiety check from one to 10. I feel four or five. I feel fine. It's usually like when the plane is just about to take off, that's when I start to feel anxious, so. For now, I'm fine. Usually, I take an, uh, a Xanax an hour before. Well, actually, on my way to the airport and then an hour before the flight so it could kick in. So, yeah. We should be headed out at 5. Right now, it is 4.17. So, waiting on my dad to go shower. And we will be heading out. Taking my first Xan. I don't know why it looks so red, but I am at the airport, as y'all can see, or maybe not. So just finished eating, sitting down, just chilling. We should be boarding in the next 15, 20 minutes. The flight is taking off in about 50 something minutes. Nervous? I took one Xanax, that's my dad on the phone, so loud. I think right now it's a, it's a five, six, before I said four or five, so it's slowly increasing, but I feel fine for now. Yo guys, I made the train, well kind of. I didn't make the train that I actually wanted, because there's train strikes all around London. So this weekend, there's hardly any trains on anymore. I managed to get this one. I'm on my way to see Kirsten at the airport at Heathrow. It's the first time flying in a while, so I'm proud of her. Um, yeah, I may be late, so she may kill me. As you can see, I'm in the Arsenal shirt. she would probably kill me for that as well. Because there's football games all weekend, but I've planned a surprise for her. Was she telling me, oh, Lamar, you can't watch football? <laughs> I know football or Kirsten is a priority, to be fair. Football might edge it, maybe. It's debatable. No, I'm joking. But yeah, I'm going CPS them now, and then yeah, hopefully I'm on time. I cut my fridge. That's what Kirsten calls it. She calls my suitcase a fridge from there. <laughs> <laughs> it's done me well, fam. It's durable, but it's heavy, man. I hate taking it around, I can't lie. It just makes everything so much stress more stressful. The train's empty though, and it's nice and um, it's a nice breeze. Like all the windows are open, which is a change because if you know about London, when it's hot in London, it's so humid and you can't breathe, man. I kind of chew because it's crazy. So
know what? I'm actually praying that I make it to the airport on time. Because Kirsten's picked me up from Copenhagen, Aarhus, Aalborg, all those airports is always on time. And for the first time when she's coming to London, I might be late. Which is a piss cake. And if I am, I need to make it up for her. She'll be on time. Hopefully. I've got about an hour to get there. And then she has to go through security and stuff, so I should be fine. Fingers crossed. I'm also still trying to find oh, this tripod here. It's supposed to have a track on my face. Oh, there we go. So you can see the, like, the camera's moving with me. Which is pretty cool. Meanwhile. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but the takeoff was alright. It took a while. I was holding my sister's hand and my daddy's hand. We out here. Yeah, it's not fun as well. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> So, guys, literally just bumped into another Arsenal fan. We're about. This vlog is gonna turn about Arsenal and not about meeting Kirsten, but. I am. I'm way to platform 5 to get on the train to Farringdon, then I need to get off and get another tube. But I'm gonna take the new Elizabeth line. Hopefully, this is AC because it's. Well, it is AC, I think. But yeah, I'll show you guys how it is. So I've never been on it before. And that will take me all the way to Terminal 3. Should be on time still. Kirsten's rushing me, but I know I'm going to be on time. She has to go through security and all that stuff anyway. So. My train comes in about five minutes. Twelve seconds later. My train is here. Eventually, I have met up with a beautiful Kirsten. She's angry with me because I was a bit late. Yes, very late. And has us taken underground. A lot of them, no one, I don't like them. I'm sorry. But she looks beautiful though. Huh? I said, You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Alright, calm down. Huh? <laughs> basically just arrived showered yeah i'm gonna burger i bought in the airport about to go to bed maybe we'll give y'all a room tour tomorrow so listen. morning guys it is the first day say good morning your nip is out 